Hi, everybody. This is Mrs. Collins, and I have a few of my Greg School friends with me today. We are going to get started with our One School, One Book. We're going to reveal the name of the book today in this video. So with me today, we have fourth grader in Mrs. Drew's class, birthday boy today, Domenico Modafari. Hi, Hi Domenico. We have fourth and fifth uh, grade third. AIS teacher, Mrs. Emanuel. Hi, Mrs. Emanuel. Hi. We have first grader in Mrs. Smith's first grade class. We have Mary Jane Borkowski. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi. We have fifth grader in Mrs. Scouten's class, Eric Brusberg. Hi, Eric. And we third have third grader in Mrs. Hale's class, Aubrey Bachman. Hi, Aubrey. Thanks Hi. for being with us today. I have some questions for you guys, but first I want to just say to the to our friends tuning in, this is our sixth one school, one book in three years. So each year that we started, we've done two books. So this is our second book this year. And let me just remind you what those titles were. We started with The Wild Robot and then The Tales of Despero. And then we read The Adventures of Humphrey last fall, followed by The One and Only Ivan. And then we read Fenway and Hattie started. this year. And at the end of this conversation, we will know what our next book is going to be. So, um, Eric, how many of these have you participated in? I've per participated in all of them. Thank you. How about you, Aubrey? I've participated in, in three of them. Great. How about Nico? I participated in all of them. And Mary Jane, how about you? How many is this for you? Participated in three. Good. And three, and this is going to be your fourth or your sixth. Ms. Emmanuel, have you participated in all of them? I have been lucky enough to be a part of all of them. Oh, that's exciting. I'm curious ask if you guys have a favorite book so far. Aubrey, do you have a favorite book so far? Yes, I do. It is um, Humphrey. Awesome. Thank you. How about you, Mary Jane? What's your favorite book so far? Mm, my favorite book is Humphrey. How about you, Domenico? Are you, is your favorite book Humphrey or a different one? It's The Tale of Despero. Oh, I love it. How about you, Eric? What's your favorite book? My favorite book is The Wild Robot. Thank you. How about you, Mrs. Emanuel? What's your favorite book so far? Um, I'm with Domenico. I'm going with A Tale of Despero because it's by one of my favorite authors, and I like it. Very nice. My favorite so far was The One and Only Ivan. I loved that book. Okay. And I guess that's why we always have different titles, because everybody ends up with a different favorite in the end. Maybe this will become your new favorite. We don't know. Um, as you probably know, the goal, the activity is for families to read together and for kids to be read to. Mrs. Emanuel, can you talk to us a little bit about why Greg School would want to participate in an activity like this? Absolutely. So we know that when, when communities or families do things together, great things happen. And when you put reading into that, when communities or families are reading together, really great things happen. First and foremost, it gives all of us a shared activity, something that we can talk about at school or at home that we're all doing together, and that's powerful. But even beyond that, there's some research that says that when schools and, and families and community are reading together, achievement in all areas goes up. So vocabulary, comprehension, um, language and writing, all of those really important pieces of our school day start to go up. Along with attendance, we've seen attendance go up. We've seen positive attitudes about reading. We've seen motivation to read more. So all of those are reasons that we should do it. And as a family at home, what we notice is when you make time for reading together, that shows that you value education. And what you're doing is planting a seed for lifelong learning. So those are really powerful things. And it's the reason that we keep going. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> Very a good. Lot. That is a lot. But thank you for sharing that. This program, we provide a free chapter book to each family along with a calendar so we can read together and stay on track. We love when families gather and read together, like Mary Jane said her family does, and Eric said his family does, and Aubrey sometimes. But we also love it when families tune, it, tune in to our Google Meets. Um, how did, oh, and I already gave away how you guys do it, didn't I? 
because we've already had this conversation. Dominica, so how does your family participate in One School, One Book? We uh, join the Google Meet. Thank you. And Eric, how does your family participate? We share the reading. You take turns at your house? Yeah. Do you pass the book around? Yeah. Nice. Aubrey, uh, how do you participate with your family? Um, we take turns reading if we can't make it to the Google Meets. Great. And Mary Jane, how about at your house? How do you participate? Um, my dad reads. Awesome. Does he have all the voices and everything too? <laughs> kind of. Kind of does. Maybe. Uh, right. <laughs> so school is so different this year, isn't it? And since yeah. we're all not all in school on the same day, we aren't able to gather in the gym and do an assembly. The group of teachers who plan have had to be really creative at how to launch our books. So often we like to give hints prior to announcing the title. Have you noticed any hints, um, either some videos that your teachers might have shown or around the school or maybe the weather reports on the announcements in the morning? Anything you've picked up for any hints? What hints have you noticed? Mary Jane, what hints do you know? Um, it's, it's about the South, it takes place in the South Pole. So that's something you've been able to figure out? All right, Domenico, how about you? I saw a bunch of pig hints down the hallways. Like what? Like I saw a pig tail, I saw a pig head, and I also saw a full pig. Okay, so you think that's something about pigs. How about you, Eric? What do you, what have you picked up? Um, the same that Domenico said. All right. Anything from any of the videos that you've seen, Aubrey? I know Mrs. Hale showed some videos, you guys. Um, we know that there's, um, um, she showed us some rat videos, so there might be a rat in the story. Interesting. <laughs> Good. Hmm. So we got rats, we got South Pole. Interesting. Um, any other things you've picked up, Mrs. Emanuel? Um, well, I think there were also some videos on sled dogs, maybe? A video? And then there was a video, Mary Jane, about the North Pole and the South Pole, and also the pig stuff. I've noticed all these pig things around our building. And I even gave an audio clue today on the announcements. Yeah, you've been doing, we've been doing weather forecasts from Antarctica for a week now. And what we know is it is colder there than in Corning. Is that right? It is much it colder. Is colder. All right. So, do you think you know the name of the book? Nobody knew the name of the book. Nobody had ever or could put together, even though it was about a pig, they didn't think it was Charlotte's Web, right? No couldn't think of what it was so what we're going to do is we are going to disclose the title so if you have your bag and i don't know why but my video is going in and out it must be my wi-fi here at my house if you can take your bag with your book oh i, I wish i could get you back because you guys are not on my video right now i can see just aubrey and i'm the one recording there's mrs emmanuel we can dominico and mary jane can you see them yes we can see and hear you I can see everyone. Me too. But I'm recording and I'm afraid you won't be able to see that. There's Domenico and I'm waiting for Mary Jane to pop up, hopefully. <laughs> we're gonna count to three. Would Domenico and Mary Jane open their bag and we're gonna three. show you. Will you help me count you guys? One, two, two, two three. three. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we're right. It is about That's the so South Pole. Cool. It is about a pig. <laughs> the Adventures of a South Pole Pig, a novel of snow and courage by Chris Kurtz. Look, it did, have it did have a pig. You guys were picking up some of our hints. All right. It did. This is Emmanuel. What can you tell us about this book? So, you guys, have you ever known someone who has big dreams? and they chase them with crazy determination. Have you ever known a character like that? Or a person like that? Mm -hmm. Flora is our main character. She's a pig. She's like a small town pig. And that's exactly how I describe her. She's got big dreams and she goes after them 
with lots of determination. In chasing her dreams, she takes her readers, us, on a big adventure. There's adventure on the high seas. There's a shipwreck. There are sled dogs. And yes, we are headed to Antarctica with her. Uh, what else do I want to tell you about her? I'm gonna not many pigs in Antarctica, are there? No. No, that was not on the video. <laughs> no pigs in Antarctica. I will tell you that if you like books with characters that are brave and determined and have grit and show perseverance, friendship and teamwork, that all comes into play in this book. It's pretty awesome. It's got it all right, Aubrey. That's how I'm feeling. I've just started, excited. I wait to go on this adventure with everyone at Greg's school. It's gonna be fun. And it's perfect. It's winter, it's perfect, we can relate. That's wonderful. Well, thank you, Mrs. Emanuel. Who's excited to read this book? Anybody out there? Me too. <laughs> All right. So uh, today, students, I'm going to be sending an email to all of our Greg School parents along with this video and a letter from me about one school on book. It'll have the reading schedule um, along with a list of some family discussion questions. And you can ask, ask your parents if they got this email. So you can double check with them and say, did Mrs. Collins email you something special today? Because you might want to watch this video with them. <laughs> we want you to see who's paying attention to Flora and her friends on this adventure to the South Pole. So we're excited to have you take your books home today, cohort A, and C's and B's, have you open them up and get started. We'll start with our Google Meet Tonight at 6.30, the Kobe Gators and Mrs. Doherty and Mrs. Perry are going to be our readers tonight. We hope you guys will join us. Thank you, Domenico, birthday boy. Thank you, Aubrey. Thank you, Eric. And thank you, Mary Jane. And special thanks, Mrs. Emanuel, for joining me today. You guys are awesome. Enjoy the book. Goodbye. Bye, Gators. Bye. <laughs>